Hi, I'm Sergeant Stephen Dornbos, and this is a sheet of seaweed, which is the start of one of my favorite meals here in Korea. I love kimbap. Oh, smash! Mm, I love seaweed. Here I am getting ready to make gimbap. Now gim means seaweed, bop means rice. When I first got to Korea though, I thought gimbap was just like vegetarian sushi or something. Now I know better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? First you take the rice here and you just spread it on the, the seaweed, right? That's the gim, that's the bop, gimbap. You can use a variety of ingredients, but I stuck with the basics. Radish, ham, crab, and eggs, since this was my first time making kimbap. The crab is being insolent. Behave. Sit. Right, good? I made vegetarian sushi. After a few more ingredients like spinach, carrots, and so forth, it was time to finish the kimbap by pressing and rolling until closed. Then slice and serve. Get in my belly! The time had come for the student to become the master as I raced my host to making the perfect kimbap roll. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so mine wasn't perfect. Oh, look at that. Good thing I had a backup plan. I win. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Now that's what I call entertainment. All right, so that's it. That concludes the uh, kimbap making adventure, and I'm getting ready to eat. Now everyone's like, where's your plate? Where's your plate? I don't need a plate. That's how I roll. Kimbap roll. Jadmo Katsumida. So we made it to the restaurant and we're about to try Korea's oh, no. I'm gonna call him up a muck job. <laughs> so we made it to the restaurant and we're about to try one of Korea's delicacies, which you might call comfort food. It's fermented skate. Mukja. That's Matt Cromer, getting a first-hand look at a Korean dish called Stinky Fish. Neither of us had eaten it before, but I knew he'd love it. Matt loves everything. <laughs> stinky Fish is a skate fish, which looks a lot like a stingray. Centuries ago, Korean fishermen accidentally left a skate fish on their boat. A few weeks and a horrible cinch later, a new delicacy was born. The pungent odor is the fish's uric acid formed into ammonia. I should have checked my taste buds at the door for this one. But what about Matt? I don't know, man. I think it's, I don't know. Maybe that one's got too close. <laughs> we weren't about to let Taehoon off the hook. The stinky fish was his idea. I felt like I was eating raw sewage out of a trash can dipped in bleach. But it's called stinky fish for a reason. That smell packs a real punch. We didn't give up. Though Matt nearly threw in the towel, we eventually got used to the taste. The trick, hold your breath. That's good. <laughs> when it comes to food, you should try anything once. When it comes to stinky fish, once is all your taste buds can handle. Oh. oh. When I first saw Star Wars as a kid, I was inspired to learn the arcane secrets of movie magic. It has since become a global phenomenon. With the latest movie, Star Wars seems more popular than ever, so I thought I'd ask the Yonsan community if they follow the code of the Jedi or embrace their inner Sith. Of course, this is only Asian Odyssey if we do this while having fun. While having fun.
Nobody said I couldn't pick up an apprentice along the way. I just needed a potential Sith. Are you in favor of the Jedi or the Sith? Uh, definitely the Jedi. Sith. <laughs> yeah. I had the Jedi. Sorry. Sith. He's a Sith. That's what I'm talking about. Being a Sith is more than just desire. You need skills. Better skills than that. More favorite towards the, the dark side. Come to the dark side. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jedi? <laughs> Another one. Uh. <laughs> Jedi. Watch and learn, my apprentice. Watch and learn. He's another Jedi. Jedi? Ah, no hope for this man. <laughs> Jedi, of course. Ah. <laughs> uh, I've discovered a space alien with these horns on her head. Yes, you must join the dark side with me, and together we shall rule the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> the votes are in, and the Jedi outnumber the Sith, at least in Seoul. But we won't give up. We will prevail. High five. He falls for it every time. <laughs>